It's hypnotic. Mesmerizing. Dying into the light, I feel my eyelids getting heavy and I fall into a euphoric sleep. Scary, but somehow beautiful. I die. Then I change. I become one with the monsters inside me. Previously, on the monsters inside me. Perhaps the voice is part of the change. Dad? Catelyn? Do they even exist? She isn't ready to hear it. Go up, you bald head! Go up, you bald head! Mouse, And now, the continuation. Maybe if you can hear me. Yes. I'm still alive. <laughs> alone. Yeah. Not this time. Teresa needed some tuning. <laughs> tuning helps me forget. <laughs> Music helps me forget. Helps <laughs> me forget how I lost my family. <laughs> to the sleepers. What could I do? I was too far. But I couldn't leave behind someone I knew. Someone I loved. I had to press on. Hello and welcome to another episode of The Monsters Inside Me, starring Olivia Steele, Ty Anderson, and featuring the vocal talents of Kate Bella, Dennis Collins Jr., Taylor Ann Ashcraft, and Dana Arabella Grimm Ashcraft. With music by Dennis Collins Jr. and edited by Ashley Woods. We don't have to turn back, Jules. He understands. Trust me. Why would you want to go back? All you'd see is a bunch of dead bodies. Catelyn, that's enough out of you. Oh, apologies, sir. Don't apologize to me. Say it to Julie. Now, Corporal! Whatever. Fine. I... I'm sorry, Julie. I really am. You didn't deserve the crap I've been giving you. I'm done. I promise. Wow. Are you actually being sincere? Why? You got a problem with it? If it's not good enough for you, I can always take it back. Corporal! Sir, yes, sir! Cat, unless you found a cure for ugly anytime soon... Apology not accepted. Maybe you should leave the banter to me, moron. You kind of suck at it. Okay, enough of the jokes. I've heard enough out of you, Catelyn. Oh, please. Are you serious right now? I should be doing way worse things than occasionally making fun of you, maggot. What? What are you even talking about? You killed me. You left me under a plane for the sleepers. You left me to burn as I do now in death. You're worthless. You hear me? You couldn't take a few insults. So you abandoned me and left me for dead. I know. I know. Listen, I went through flames too. I killed my father. I'm infected with the virus now. I was almost molested by some filthy caveman and now I'm hearing voices. I don't need you to tell me about having a bad day. I know I was wrong. Even my father was disappointed in what I'd done. But it was a snap decision and I had to think for myself. I chose to survive. I don't need someone tearing me down and reminding me of my mistakes every waking moment. I blame myself for your death. Don't you dare rub it in my face. You both messed up. You have baggage and it's understandable. But at this point, it's all moot. You've all said what you needed to say. Now let me speak, Julie. You made mistakes, but that doesn't exempt the fact that you are my daughter. I love you no matter what you did or ever will do. Understand? That being said, whatever happens, Jules, honey, don't try to fight it. Dad? What do you mean? It's not my place to say, Julie. Just know I will miss you. What? 
Dad. Jules, it's almost time. And now, my dear beautiful listener, don't cry when you say goodbye. No. Oh, please, not again. I can't do this. You know, kid, you're all right. I've seen you fight. You've got spirit. Too bad we have to part ways now. You have to admit, Julie, I kind of admire you. So long, scumbag. Daddy, no, please. Let go of me, sweetie. Rip the bandage off clean. It's all right. I love you. I'm proud of you. You will do great things in this world. A few years ago, I would have uh, said figures. But now, now I have been given a chance to see you bloom. No, Daddy! Daddy, don't go. Please. You're telling me don't do this. Daddy! No, Daddy! Oh, Father! No, Daddy! sound on SoundCloud, Facebook, and YouTube under the name The Monsters Inside, The Monsters Inside Me. 